scribbles, and I'm asking you, hell, I'm telling you to come down to my pumpkin patch, my pumpkin patch. Did you know our forefathers came to this country in canoes made of, you guessed it, pumpkins. Stock market's gone to hell, America's going to shit. Stimulate the economy the old fashioned way with pumpkins. Woo! Now what's Halloween without pumpkins? You can carve pumpkins, juggle pumpkins, cut a hole in the pumpkin to have sex with it. Shit! Make a pumpkin pie. And remember, Dribble's Pumpkin Patch is the only goddamn pumpkin patch to offer triple advantage financing. I guarantee it. I'm right, Dribble! Shit, buy any pumpkin in the month of October, I'm gonna give you a free bag of trail mix. These pumpkins are all 100% certified disease free. Can my competitors say that? I'm Ryan Dribble. I've got the biggest pumpkins in the tri-state area. As big as a fucking train. I'm Rod Dribble. I'm Rod Dribble. I'm Rod Dribble. Welcome, friends, to my humble pumpkin co-op, where all of our pumpkins are 100% organic and grown locally by me, your ever snowfish. You're probably wondering, River, how do you grow all these pumpkins yourself, man? Well, I get a little help from the coolest chick I know. <laughs> Mother Nature! We don't use any pesticides or that pesky growth hormone, BP120. Never trust the man, man. In addition to using chemicals, my competitors outsource all of their pumpkin farms to Sierra Leone. I said Africa, man. No blood for pumpkins. So if you're in the market for a pumpkin this Halloween, make sure it's for my groovy little pumpkin patch. And keep Austin gourd, man. I'm Rod Dribbles, and I approve this message. My competition might tell you that my pumpkins are small and insignificant. Small and, and insignificant. insignificant. Don't believe his non-truths, man. River Snowfish and his team of propagandists unleashed an attack of false and hurtful accusations regarding the business practices and character of beloved community leader, Rob Dribbles. You've heard the lies. Now it's time to hear the facts. Fact 1. There is no legal evidence that BP120 is linked to extreme pumpkin growth, Trevin syndrome, or fatal diarrhea. Fact 2. River Snowfish has gone on record saying that one of his favorite bands is the String Cheese Incident. Fact 3. In 2001, River Snowfish was issued a noise complaint citation for an unauthorized drum circle in Waterloo Park. Lies. Drum circles. The String Cheese Incident. Death to all spoilers. Isn't it time we stop trusting River Snowfish with our pumpkin? Rod Dribbles urges you to vote no on Pumpkin Prop 21. Paid for by the Dribbles Coalition against River Snowfish. I'm River Snowfish and I pray. Hola, my fellow pumpkin connoisseurs. I regret to inform you that my once bountiful harvest of dank pumpkins has been shut down by me, River Snowfish. Too much turmoil, man. We need to make peace, not war. I encourage you to save pumpkins' lives this year and do something just as festive and fun. Cardboard! All you gotta do is collect your recycled cardboard, get yourself some scissors, and go to town on any sort of silly face that comes to mind. My jack-o'-lanterns of the constellation Cassiopeia. Let's do our part to reduce our carbon footprint and help to preserve these beautiful orange creatures. It's our duty as citizens of this one world. And guys, seriously, vote no on Prop 21. If you vote for one proposition this fall, vote yes for Prop 21. Economists and pumpkin experts agree that a federal bailout is our only hope to ensure the success and longevity of the pumpkin industry. From Wall Street to Main Street, there are- No, no more. I'm turning this off. It's Halloween. Let's party. Let's party. Let's go. Get the candy. Finally. Hit this. That's a dank one right there.